Thank you for purchasing Time Passages. In this video tutorial, we are going to walk you through how to download and install Time Passages software onto your Mac computer and enable your codes. Before we begin, you want to make sure you have stable internet connection to download the software. Also, be sure to close any tabs or other applications you have open for best result. If you have already downloaded the demo version of, from our website, you will just need to enable the codes. You can either follow the instructions in the email we sent you or wait until later in this video when we talk about enabling codes. First, go to your email account and you should have received Time Passages Enabling Codes email from Astrograph that looks like this. We are going to walk you through step by step the instruction provided in this email, which is step one, download, step two, install, Step three, enable codes, and lastly, how to enjoy the software. So let's start with the first one, download. Go ahead and click this download link. That link should have brought you to our Time Passages download page. Our website should have already identified the correct operating system. If not, please select Time Passages for Mac OS 10.12 and above right here. Let's pause here. You will need Mac OS 10.12 or above for this program to work. If you are not sure which Mac OS you currently have, this is how you would check. Take your mouse and click the Apple icon on the top left corner of the screen. Click About This Mac. As you can see, my Mac is currently a 10.14 Mojave, so I know that this software will work on my computer. Once you have checked, you can go ahead and click on the small X button and which should bring you back to the website. If you do not have a 10.12 or above operating system, the software will not work. So please pause this video and go update your OS and come back to this tutorial. If you have a 10.12 or above, you will continue by putting your email right here. and clicking the green button, download now. If you get a pop-up message, do you want to allow downloads on astrograph.com, go ahead and click allow. Depending on your OS and your settings, the location of downloads may be different from what you're seeing on my computer. On my computer in Safari, you can see this download bar, and I am about one third done. Depending on how fast your Wi-Fi is, it may take a few minutes to download. If the software does not start to download, go ahead and click right here. If that did not work, the third option is to try a different browser. You can see on the top left corner right here that I am currently using Safari. You can try using Google Chrome, Firefox, or Internet Explorer, which may help. So it looks like my download is complete. I'm going to click on Time Passages that ends with a .dmv and open that folder. We are not finished yet. This is one of the most important steps. Now we need to take the icon and drop it into the Applications folder. We do that by clicking Time Passages and long click and dragging it over to the Applications folder. Now that the Time Passages software is in your application folder, we recommending you take this step to placing the icon for easier access for the future. There's two places where you can drag the icon. You can bring it down here into the docs and to the desktop. You do that by long clicking the icon from the applications folder and dragging it into your dock. And you can also do it by long clicking and dragging the icon onto your desktop. That way I can always easily access Time Passages software. Now we are done with the application folder, so I can go ahead and click the red tiny X here to exit out of that and do the same for the Time Passages install. If you did not drag your icon to the desktop or dock and you think you lost that icon, you can find it in the Applications folder. Here's how to find your Applications folder. In the dock, down below, click on Finder. On the left here, 
you can find desktop, documents, downloads, and you can also find the application folder. So you should scroll down to T and there is my time passages. So you can go ahead and drag that to the desktop or dock for easier access. Now we are ready to put your enabling codes in. So let me exit out of this screen and go back to my email. We did number one download, we completed number two install, and we are here at number three. The first thing I'm going to do is check which edition I have. I bought the complete package, which came with the advanced edition along with four add-ons. You can find your purchased edition right below your serial number. So I bought the advanced edition, and so I'm going to enter the advanced edition enabling code first. So let's open Time Passages software. Go ahead and click on the icon in the docs, or double click the icon on the desktop to open the software. Time Passages is an app downloaded from the internet. Are you sure you want to open it? Go ahead and click open. So here you should see the welcome message. Go ahead and read that and click on enter code. Next, select which edition you have purchased. And you should see three boxes, your name, serial number, and enable code, which we are going to put in. So now we're going to toggle back and forth between the email to copy and paste it right here. First, we're going to start with the name. To go back to the email, you can click here or on the bottom, click Safari. So I'm going to highlight my name. Here, make sure that you have not accidentally highlighted the space in front or after your name. Now we are going to copy it. There are two ways to copy. We can go to Edit and Copy or on the keyboard, press Command and C. So now that we have copied it, we're going to go back to the Astrograph software. You might not see the window, and so go down to the docs and click on the purple icon, and you should see the window pop back up. Now we're going to paste it. There are, again, two different ways to paste. You can go to the toolbar here, Edit and Paste, or on your keyboard, press Command V as in Victor. So here we have put in your name and we're going to move on to the serial number. Let's move on to the serial number. Go back to the email by clicking on Safari. Highlight your serial number and go to edit copy or on your keyboard, command copy. Now we're going to go back to the time passages enabling box. Go back to the doc, click on Time Passages, and we're going to paste it here. Now we have one more. Go to the docs, back to your email, highlight the Advanced Edition, copy, go back to Time Passages, and paste. So if you see this problem with code message, you did not enter the code correctly. When entering your enable codes, we highly recommend that you copy and paste as it appears very carefully without any spaces before or after. The codes are very case sensitive, so you want to copy it exactly. Go ahead and click OK and try again. If you see this message success with code, congratulations, you did it. Go ahead and click OK. Here's a quick explanation on how to create your new chart. And so if you want to read it later, click OK. If you don't want this message to show up, you can click Don't Show This Screen Again. For those that purchase add-ons, you will continue to insert add-on enabling codes. So I have four more codes to enter here. Go to Time Passages software by clicking on the purple icon. Click on Time Passages in the toolbar and then drop your mouse to licenses. I'm going to start with entering my compatibility report. So your name and serial number should already be there and you just need the enable code. 
So I'm going to go back to my email and copy my compatibility code exactly as it is and then go back to time passages and paste it here. If you see success with code, great! You did it and go ahead and repeat until you've entered all your add-on code. Well, I bet you are ready to start playing around with your new software. I have two more things to show you and I will let you go enjoy your new program. First, I want to show you where the time passages manual is. We are done with the email, so I'm going to go ahead and minimize this page by clicking on this orange minus button. So go ahead and click on time passages, the purple icon, go up to the toolbar, click on help, and click open manual. There are lots of details in this manual which you can go in and read. To expand, you can click on the green button here and you should be able to expand it. If you are done, go ahead and click X. Second, let's show you how to create your first natal chart. Go to File and New. And here you can enter the name, the location of the birthplace, the birth date, birth time. If you do not know the birth time, go ahead and click the sunrise chart and click OK. There you have it. You have created your first chart. And to expand it, you can again click on this green expand button to maximize your window. So congratulations on your new purchase and getting everything up and running. Enjoy and have so much fun with Time Passages software.